Hey, you're doing your thing. Did you work at Burger King before? The smoke. All right, so <clears throat> we're doing this vlog today. You already know, man. Eric on the grill, bro. What? What they say? Read the rules with them. What they say on the Only rules? Two bros react. Grill must be attended at all times. And hey, we ain't gonna attend nothing. So, Eric is the master grill right here, the master chef. Yes. Eric, I mean, that's not enough, dude. No, no, no. I'm gonna put some more stuff because we're about to grill a whole uh, kitchen. Let me show him what we got here. Oh so man, we got some more stuff. We got a lot more stuff, but we got them patties right here on deck. Yeah, we're gonna have a good day, man. We're gonna have some. Uh, we have the pool right here. The jacuzzi is getting ready. It's getting ready. They're filling it up for us, just for us, because it was turned off. Look at what Eric started, man. Eric started a damn fire up in here. I almost burned the shit out of my. Yeah. Oh damn, sorry, sorry. Guys, we're about to do this. Mark, can you explain? We need the whole family here, man. How many are we in the family? About five hundred thousand now. Then they thought I left. Mark. Tell <laughs> they didn't leave. They didn't leave. I mean, I'm in the cut. Eric, let me ask you, man. This is not gonna catch fire over here, no, 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 is no, it? We're gonna be all right. The most that can happen is if we start burning, we jump in the water. You see the show them. Yeah, I showed them the jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah. The Somebody's way, filling it. Oh, go ahead. Can you explain to them we just bought the whole place? Yeah, we're we did. Filling up the. We're filling up the jacuzzi. We're filling up the jacuzzi, guys. We're trying to get ready for you guys. And Tell them for people that don't know how to barbecue. What are we waiting for? Guys, bro? the main concept about barbecuing is number one, you got to find yourself a grill. The are grill you serious? Be made, it cannot be just any grill. It's got to be made by Fisher Price. The same, Fisher, yes, the same company that makes toys for kids. And you guys got to make sure it's a steady grill. You see this one? You see it? The little pole you see there, it's made out of oak trees. Oh my and, god. Uh, it just painted black so that it don't look so much like a tree because we're in Florida. What, what, what can I say? I have a question. When are we eating, bro? But I mean, it's not going to be anytime soon. <laughs> oh my Actually, god. No, we, we should be ready in about 15 minutes. 15, all right. Because what we're going to do, we're going to put the, the, the burgers like this. Look, you see it? Like that? You see it? That's we're how you do put it? The burgers and then we got to flip it. You got to flip it up, uh, sunny side up. Right? Oh my god, bro. Up. Yeah, I'll tell them. Flip it. I don't know understand what's going on with the crackers. Yeah, I know. Somebody just spread the, the damn crackers yeah. right here. Haitian but, style, you know? But let's go, my dear thing. These two are yours over here. Okay. Yourself and the camera lady. Wait, who's the bacon for? Uh, bacon? Bacon? You never put bacon in Paris? Eric is, uh, does keto, so... You never had a baconator? No. I don't even know what that means. I, I, I just decided to say that. We're just gonna have some fun, man. We're gonna go uh, cave style. Like back in the day when people had uh, no spoons. No and food, huh? So Eric is on keto, he doesn't eat bread. Right. That's why he's... He, he but does, guess what? I got my own bread. <laughs> he's as shredded as a Julian salad. Yes. yes. So, That's the look I'm going for. Uh, okay. Hey, find me a horse to eat this. But here. But wait. Okay, so... It's a lot. It's a chip chip. The damn chip This is to make the salad more. Salad? The lettuce is almost... No, no, but that's actually, I'll be honest with you, it's like the napkin. It's a napkin lettuce. Oh, okay. I'll be honest. It's because when you're doing keto, you don't you don't cut trees. You cut lettuce. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we'll talk about that later.
Come on, man, you better close them legs. Woo! Just got that workout in. Today was chest and tries. Man, I'm doing a lot of progress with this, uh, with this injury situation I have in my arm. It's almost non-existent now, which is awesome. I thank God for that. But also, I'm not pushing it to the limit like I used to. Man, it's crazy how when we're, when we're younger, we don't give a crap, you know what I mean? We just, it's just about getting big, let's get big, let's get big, go heavier, go home. But then we don't realize the damage that we're doing to our bodies because, like I said, our body, we're not, let me put this window up real quick, real quick. By the way, if you guys didn't know, I did get the Tesla, we'll talk about that in a bit. But, put some AC real quick, give me a second, man. Gotta get used to this, it's a big ass iPad. We'll talk about that right now. Give me one second. Let me put this thing away from me because I do not want to get sick. Okay, so like I was saying, our bodies were not meant to be pushing crazy heavy weight. Even if you're juicing, which I'm not by the way, but even if you're juicing, no matter what you do, your ligaments, your ligaments and your tendons, they were not meant to be lifting those kind of weights. So eventually, your body will stop paying for it. You're gonna start having pain. Like me, I have pain everywhere. Lower back, forget it. Because I had three herniated discs in my lower back. I've had that for the past seven, eight years, I think. Um, but now suddenly, like I said, I've been having a lot of pains in my joints, my elbow joints, um, my knees, and even in my feet. My freaking feet are hurting now. That's crazy. But I'm doing a lot better. I'm getting strong again, but I'm not pushing it to the limit. You know what I mean? I'm not going crazy. I'm not doing go heavy or go home. Now I'm doing more form. You'll be surprised when you go super slow, how more effective it is. When you're just like, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, you're lifting a bunch of weight, but you're not really doing much. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I was, I'm doing great on that. On about the Tesla. I don't, I'm sure some of you watching this, you have Teslas. Look, man, no offense. Mind you, I have the Model 3. I don't have the Model S. I've seen the Model Y, and it's pretty much an SUV version of this Model 3. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. The only positive of having this car is you're saving the planet. When I say you're saving the planet, you're not burning fuel, so obviously, less pollution but that's about it do i really save money on gas i have the standard right the standard range i don't have the long range which i think goes 300 something miles when you charge it 80 percent it goes 210 miles about that i don't do a lot of driving but for the driving that i do i have to go charge this car every two days and when you use the superchargers it's like 25 cents a kilowatt right so it takes about I think it's about 11 to 15 bucks between there depends I didn't know that till I purchased the car um, charging this car is not free using Tesla superchargers is you have to pay for that so do you save on gas yes D yeah I'm sure you do um, but if you're a true car guy the only thing you're gonna appreciate from this car is the acceleration because the fact that you don't have no transmission you don't have no turbo you gotta wait to spool up you get instant torque it's like milliseconds right instant torque and if you have the performance one it's even worse you know you're like you're in a damn roller coaster but besides that man i cannot get used to this interior it is so simplistic I don't know I feel like I feel like there's nothing to look at this car has a special type of person that would love it and that's not me so I'm just gonna drive it a couple months May I don't know if I'm gonna even get to a couple months and I'm probably gonna sell it I don't know what I'm getting I was waiting for the 400 Z that's what I really want stick shift and it was my biggest complaint with the Supra is the fact that and that's why I got rid of it because I couldn't, I'm a stick shift guy. I wanna go back to having a stick shift. 
and uh, the Supra is not coming out with a stick shift anytime soon so uh, the 400Z is exactly what I want but it's not even coming out yet I was reading that we're looking at I think August that's when they're gonna show the production model but that's not even gonna be in the dealerships yet we're probably looking at next year to get this damn car so I don't know what I'm gonna get yet we'll see now there's an actual EV car that I love I haven't driven it I haven't sat in it but that's a car that I would love to drive it's called the Porsche Taycan now now we're talking because the interior of that car is just pure art pure art and Tesla gotta do something about this interior man because seats are comfortable I don't mind the seats the steering wheel is okay but yeah man this whole dashboard let me show you guys yeah steering wheel is okay but this whole dashboard something has to happen with this dashboard man just looking at a damn uh, 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 iPad the whole time I, I, I'm not feeling it also the blind spot monitor it's all on the screen by the way I gotta go put air in the tires it's not in the mirror like regular cars I like that because we're looking at the mirror when you're switching lanes and it will be nice to see if you have a car next to you in the mirror not here because if I'm looking here then I'm not looking left that's the, I think that's a mistake but again I don't know if the higher models have that man I just got myself some pay way right here I've been eating pay way literally every single day I'm trying to stay away from spicy food right now I'm addicted to spicy food and I suffer from gastritis. Anyways, guys, what time is it right now? It's like about nine o'clock. I'm calling it a night. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.